Okay, I'm going to be doing most of this review via voiceover because I did quite a bit of shooting and I've had a couple weeks of it now and have a lot of thoughts to share uh, about my Nada axe here. So let's get going with it and uh, show you what's going on. All right, kind of wanted to show you this latest uh, bit of kit I got here. This is inspired by a Japanese uh, camping and gardening tool. This one's made by Bare Bones. Now, if that don't scream Japanese blade, I don't know what does. We're starting to see more of these. This is a uh, Japanese Nada axe. It's 21 inches long overall, 12 inch blade, full tang, about uh, 3 16ths of an inch uh, wide right there. And uh, I don't know what you would call that. I think you would probably call that a concave grind with a micro grind on the end and. Uh, on the very tip it is ground out for chiseling applications pretty interesting not all nada axes have that feature now a traditional nada axe would be sharpened only on one side of the blade which is kind of unusual i i guess that is uh to help eliminate scarring when they're doing branch trimming and stuff uh, but i'm liking this uh, i mean i really like the machete that i do use right now which is a cold steel uh, copus machete a uh, very very capable tool but you know batoning and stuff like that is nearly useless with it but with this nice thick full tang this will baton for days and i have a uh chopping job for it i mean if you look at that if that don't say chopper i don't know what that say i have to clear out a significant amount of stuff in order for me to hang my hammock so this is where I use my uh, my new Nada axe. Well, that job wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Probably do just as well with a handsaw. It's pretty dense and uh, live wood there, about an inch and a half around. Got some other stuff over here I'm going to clear out. This is halfway started for me here. One of the features I really like about uh, this Nada Axe is the long handle, which I can easily get a two-hand grip on for something, uh, uh, something heavier chopping like this four-inch piece of dead standing cedar uh, which I'm taking down and will become uh, our firewood for the night. Uh, blade feels really good in the hand, very sturdy. Like I said, this is cedar and I used this the following week a similar size tree uh, which was oak and uh, with a considerably harder time getting through it as you would expect. This is not a replacement for any sort of proper camp axe or hatchet but uh, sort of crosses over between a camp knife and uh, an axe. And the form factor allows for very convenient stowing in my pack. Now I've done some ridiculous types of batoning on ridiculous wood with my, my little more uh, robust companion and uh, got through it. But, you know, compared to that or, or my regular machete, this thing baton like a dream and i'm driving this into soft sand if you look but yeah split that stuff up like nobody's business one could criticize the handle for being a bit small i've got you know little little girly hands and so it fits really nice in my hands for somebody who's got you know you know big old caveman hands it uh, might be a little small for them And here I am trying my hand at uh, doing some debarking. Uh, you may disagree with uh, my technique here. It's a little sketchy of a situation. I do recommend wearing gloves if you do this. Uh, one thing I will say is that it comes sharp enough from the factory you know, to kind of do its job, but it's not a terribly sharp blade. And that downward curve of that blade is uh, Gonna require a different sort of sharpening technique that I use for most of the stuff I have. Sorry. 
and so it's a larger blade and isn't so crazy sharp I found the best way to create some shavings would be to uh, jam that uh, chisel edge into the ground there and I'll uh, pull my stick across the blade uh, to create some shavings worked pretty well probably work a little better if I sharpened it more but uh, it'll work and it'll work pretty well you just kind of kind of know how to you know how, how to apply it um, I, I just got to say with the versatility of this tool you know it's going to become or has become uh, something that I will routinely pack uh, with me like even when I go out to overnights and stuff like that because I just uh, I can do things with that uh, that I can't do with my with my uh, camp knife and I'd rather carry this than a hatchet or an axe now once again this is a Nada axe made by bare bones sorry that tags upside down there what I can say I'm impressed with is this sheath this sheath is very robust. It's like plastic wrapped in canvas or something, uh, riveted around the edges. Um, very, very sturdy. Uh, what I don't understand is what's going on with this uh, leather strap in the middle there. That looks cool, but it's not exactly practical. I mean, I prefer to have some sort of grommet down at the end to attach a lanyard around my leg uh, as I'm uh, going around camping and stuff, but uh, that's not what we have here. Interesting thing about this particular model of Nada is the downward curve of the blade. Uh, I don't know what this functions for. Uh, again, pointing out hardwood handle through tang, it's bolted together. It's a stainless steel blade uh, with some other steel in cinture. I really like this uh, this cool stippled finish on the uh, on the side of the blade. I think it looks looks really neat. So I mentioned that nine foot piece of cedar that we took down for uh, for our firewood naturally I want to you know cut that up into you know several pieces that I could baton down for actual usable wood for our fire you know, usually I would go for you know my folding saw you know my like my silky right here but uh, you know and cut that up but I found after trying it a couple of times that man that stuff was really really dense and I actually found it much much easier to ditch that take the knot axe and chop it and I swear I used a third of the energy to get through this wood with chopping with the knot axe and I found that pretty cool so thumbs up there okay well there we have it the knot axe by bare bones this was sent to me by my friend Kim as a birthday present and I'm really grateful I've been so looking forward to checking this out and uh, seeing what it does. Been seeing more and more of these lately. I know recently on the show Forged in Fire, they were tasked with uh, recreating one of these. Uh, I suppose they were also used as weapons as well. But uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video and this review, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment below any of your thoughts about Nada axes, blades in general, etc. And uh, get out and do something, and I will see you on the next one.